If the Savior were here right now, what would he say to you? I believe he would start by expressing his deep love for you. And yet, because we're all weak and imperfect, some concerns might creep into your mind. You might remember mistakes you've made, times you gave in to temptation, things you wish you hadn't done or wished you had done better. I don't think he would make excuses for your mistakes. He wouldn't minimize them. No, he would ask you to repent, to leave your sins behind, to change so he can forgive you, to help you find the way and to help you make Christ's doctrine the guiding influence in your life. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has prepared a new resource, a revised version of For the Strength of Youth. The purpose of For the Strength of Youth is to point you to Him. It teaches you eternal truth of His restored gospel, a truth about who you are, who He is, and what you can accomplish with His strength. It teaches you how to make righteous choices based on those eternal truths. It's also important to know what For the Strength of Youth does not do. It doesn't make decisions for you. It doesn't give you a yes or no about every choice you might ever face. For the strength of youth focuses on the foundation for your choices. It focuses on values, principles, and doctrine instead of every specific behavior. Is it wrong to have rules? Of course not. We all need them every day. But is it wrong to focus only on rules instead of focusing on the Savior? You need to know the whys and the hows, and then consider the consequences of your choices. You need to put your trust in Jesus Christ. He will lead you the right way. He is your strength. You can find confidence, peace, safety, happiness, and belonging now and eternally because you will find all of it in Jesus Christ, in his gospel, and in his church.